In project five, we built Word Scramble, which asks users to look at an eight letter word and then create new words from those eight letters. And this mostly works great with voiceover out of the box. No part of the app doesn't work. However, that doesn't mean we can't make it better. To see an obvious pain point, try entering a word in when you have voiceover enabled. For example, I might say in here, uh, Myers, it's a great word. And you can see uh, in our UI, it has this SF symbol, left five circle, and then the word Myers next to it. But if you're running on a real device with voiceover enabled and try working your way through, you'll hear this five circle image is read by itself. And you swipe beyond that and it'll read out Myers. Now there are a few ways of improving this, but probably the best one is to make both these items grouped together where the children are ignored by voiceover, and then add a custom label for the whole group that contains a more natural, useful description. So our current code is here for that, this HDAC down here. And to fix this, we've got to group that HDAC together in a single voiceover customization. So we'll say it has accessibility element with children dot ignore. Now dot ignore is a default behavior for this modifier. So you can actually remove that and just say uh, no parameter and you'll get ignore children by default. So now I've grouped it together, we can provide a custom label that's better than having two individual things. In this case, we can say accessibility label is word comma word dot count letters like that. And so we'll get from that the word Myers, then five letters uh, as one read out element, rather than going left, right, left, right, all the way down the row, it's read out as one consistent thing. If you wanted to, you could break this up further and say actually the, the label is the word, that makes sense. So perhaps have something like just a word like that. But then use accessibility hint here with the remainder to say this has word.count letters. So you get word, then a natural pause, then the hint being read out. Give them both a try with voiceover enabled. Try them both yourself, see which one you prefer. But either way, it's just a much better experience for voiceover using users.